really should take care of your dojo. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Scotty Karate video. Today we're going to be going over something that you might not be doing or thinking about. And that is taking care of the dojo. There's a couple things we need to go over to make sure your dojo stays clean, sanitary, and ready to train. That in today's episode of... When at a dojo, we call it soji, right? It's when you actually help take care of the dojo. Now, a lot of schools, the lower ranks will actually get in and actually sweep, clean mirrors, you know, pick up, make sure the place is, you know, clean and sanitary so you can enjoy your time training. This is usually done after classes or before classes, depending on the dojo. Now, this is an important ritual and part of the karate experience because if you don't do this, you will get infections, diseases, and just grossness in general. So, one of the main things that we talk about here is when we clean up for the night, we're getting ready to go, we ask the lower ranks to pick up one of the dust mops and brooms, sweep the floor, make sure all the dirt and grime that we've brought in gets cleaned up. Now, this could be taken to mopping as well to kill bacteria, which is very important. A mats that you use, if you have mats that you roll on or if your floor is actually a mat, these all need to be sanitized. This is to help keep you and your students safe. Now, when you do this, it's very important to use a product that can kill everything and make sure everything's nice and you know sanitized. Leave that to you. I'm not going to recommend anything. Not paid by anybody. But it is important to make sure you're clean. Now, you got the floor cleaned. Get your windows clean. You get everything nice and pretty. But there is a pet peeve that happens, and it happens in dojos all across the country, and that is someone walks through the floor in shoes. Excuse me. Whoa! I'm snap at the... Hey! You! Me? Yeah! You! We don't wear shoes on the mat here, mister! This is a pet peeve, and it's pet peeve on purpose because it is, I won't say dangerous, but it's dangerous. So there is more reason to not wear shoes on your dojo floor than just tradition. I know a lot of people, you know, break that up and they're like, oh, it's just tradition. It's not natural necessity, you know, just, I'm just running through to go to the restroom or I'm just going to, no, there's a reason why, and it's not just tradition. If you come in from the outside in your tissues you've walked in with, you've walked through things that are not clean. You know what I mean? <laughs> you bring that into the dojo, you walk it through the floor, and then I go get in changed in my gi and I'm barefoot, and now I get to walk through it. So whatever you just tracked in, now's on me. If I have a cut, any injury, which happens all the time, that can cause me to get an infection, you know, athlete's foot, a number of different things that, for no reason. Now I know what you're thinking. But Scott, it's okay because everyone uses shoes on my dojo. It's not a big deal. Even if you use shoes, you should always make sure to clean everything. And if you're using shoes in the dojo, as a general rule, everyone uses them for whatever reason, you have reasons for it, that's fine, but they need to be dojo dedicated shoes. So you go buy a special pair of shoes for the dojo. I mean, I can put some recommendations down below, but essentially they're just shoes that you have that help support you, keep you safe, get you, you know, whatever issue you're having taken care of, make sure you prevent spreading it to other people. But they don't leave the dojo, right? So if you have a dedicated spot at the dojo, you keep it there. Or you just stuff in your bag, and that way it's never touching the outside. You know, you're not wearing them outside to go to your car, for example. <sighs> so, come in, take your shoes off, go get changed, put on your nice, clean dojo shoes. That way, if you do have these issues, you're good. But... You might be thinking, yeah, but Scott, all the people in my dojo wear shoes. It's not an issue. It actually is. 
So even if everyone wears shoes in your dojo, Mm -hmm. no one's barefoot. Unless you're that very, very rare school that don't teach any takedowns, throws, rolls, break falls, anything that puts the other person on the ground. I mean, that school, maybe it's, maybe there's a case to be made that you don't need to worry about that. But for everyone else, if I'm doing a grappling and I'm doing a different throw and say I cut my hand, you know, or scrape it or whatever, I mean, accidents happen. And then I go to the ground, I do my break fall, I put my hand down. Now I have all that in my wound. It's just, it's so rare when it actually applies where it's not needed that it's not worth not doing. So take care of your equipment, take care of your floor, and part of that, taking care of your shoes. Last thing we're going to go over, taking care of your dojo. Right now, there's some concerns. People are starting to come back, get more into the dojo, and people are kind of skittish. Why? Because they're scared of getting sick. So, if you're sick, don't go anywhere. This seems like such a dust statement, but you will not believe how many people walk into the dojo going, (coughs) all these different things indicating that they're sick. And then they walk in and spread that. That's not necessary. No matter what the situation, if you're not feeling well, stay home. This is for you as well. You don't want to get other people sick, and that's the big dojo take from that. We don't want everyone to get sick. But you don't want to be out making things worse either. Stay home, get well. When you're well, come back, hit it hard. But real talk, you have to take care of the dojo. You can't just do what you want and go, Wow, I'm sick, but it's only a cold. It's only a cold. People die from that. Don't, don't do it. Just (laughs) stay home, take care of you. Then when you're ready, come back. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Making sure your dojo is clean, sanitary, and safe is a priority for everyone. Not just the instructors, but the students as well. If you have a dojo you're going to, any school of any kind, and you think that it's not being kept up, Quick clue, if after class you look at your bottom of your feet and it's tar black from all the dirt, probably not clean. Talk to them. Let them know. Hey, you know, we, I'd like to get this up so we can all stay safe and clean. Volunteer to help clean. That's something that we don't really do anymore. We don't hear a lot of people volunteering to make the effort. That's kind of an old tradition that went away. We need to bring that back because it's everyone's dojo. Someone might own it, but at the end of the day, if you aren't safe, and they're not being safe at the dojo, things aren't being cleaned, you can get hurt, other people can get sick, it's not a good thing. Take care of your dojo, and it'll take care of you. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell in the corner so you know when my videos are posted each week. And, as always, the more you train, easier the fight.